All right, thanks, and welcome back to the Tech Corner. I'm George Silla, Senior Markets Contributor here with the Schwab Network. Today, we're going to be revisiting Alphabet. And if you want to revisit the first video I covered on Alphabet back in April, you can click on the link above. Now, Alphabet Incorporated is the parent company to Google and operates as a leading global technology conglomerate. It is one of the magnificent seven tech giants in the communication services industry. It operates through three primary segments. First off, it's Google services, which includes widely used products such as Search, YouTube, Gmail, and Android, which generate revenue primarily through advertising and subscription services. Cloud provides AI infrastructure, cybersecurity, and enterprise solutions. Now, the other bet segment focuses on emerging technologies, including healthcare and autonomous vehicles through its Waymo division. Now, Alphabet is renowned for its innovation in artificial intelligence with key advancements such as the Gemini AI model enhancing its service offerings. Now, when it comes to competition in the realm of search and advertising, you have to think of Microsoft Corporation, which offers Bing and Azure services. In the cloud services sector, it also contends with companies like Amazon with its Amazon Web Services platform. Now, additionally, in the social media space and the digital content space, Alphabet competes with meta platforms, which operates Facebook and Instagram. Now, let's look at the unique value for Alphabet. First off, it lies in its comprehensive integration with artificial intelligence across its vast ecosystem, including search cloud services, and advertising. This integration allows Alphabet to leverage its extensive data capabilities to offer personalized services and maintain a leading position in digital ads. Furthermore, its proprietary AI technologies like the Tensor Processing Units, also known as TPUs, and the Gemini A models provide significant competitive advantage in processing and monetizing AI workloads efficiently. Google is a global leader in search, with the two largest search engines in both Google and YouTube. Some estimates find that they control nearly 90% of the market share in search, making competitive barriers to entry very strong. Now let's take a look at some recent news on the name. Now going back to October 29th of this year, the reported fiscal Q3 2025 earnings and sales. Revenues grew to over $102 billion, up 16% year over year, making it the first quarter above $100 billion in sales. EPS came in at around $2.87, beating consensus estimates by a wide margin and growing roughly 35% year over year. This was driven by operating leverage and investment gains as well. Search revenue reached roughly $87.1 billion, up 14% year-over-year, with double-digit growth in search, YouTube ads, subscriptions, and devices. Cloud revenue climbed to roughly $15.2 billion, growing in the low 30% range year-over-year, outpacing competitors like AWS and Azure in percent growth, with a revenue backlog of approximately $150 billion. Management also emphasized that artificial intelligence is now the core driver of revenue across search, YouTube, and cloud and raise its 2025 CapEx guidance in the low $90 billion range to support AI and data center build-outs. Recently, Google also launched Gemini 3, described as the most capable AI model so far, with stronger reasoning and multi-model capabilities. Now, when it comes to Alphabet, there are many positives to consider. First off, its robust AI advancements, including Gemini 3 model, have positioned it as a leader in artificial intelligence, driving revenue growth and investor confidence. The company's AI-driven initiatives are expected to continue boosting profitability and market share going forward as well. Google's cloud segment is experiencing significant growth, with AI products contributed to a 34% increase in revenues and a surge in backlog, including strong future demand and potential financial upside. Alphabet's TPU technology is anticipated to become a major revenue stream as it gains traction among external clients, potentially capturing market share from competitors like NVIDIA. Google also demonstrates impressive growth with forward revenue estimates at around 14% and EBITDA growth at 21%, showcasing the company's robust expansion. Google also continues to excel in profitability with a net income margin on a trailing basis of nearly 32%. This is 600 basis points higher than its five-year average and significantly higher than the sector median around 4%. Now, despite these positives, there are many concerns we have to address as well with Alphabet. The increased capital expenditure on artificial intelligence infrastructure might strain margins in the short term, posing a risk if AI investments don't yield expected returns going forward. In search, Alphabet faces pressures from AI-native competitors like ChatGPT-style interfaces and evolving user behavior. In cloud and AI infrastructure, AWS and Azure and specialized AI platforms compete aggressively on features and pricing. While Alphabet is seeking to diversify its business away from search, text-based advertising remains the biggest contributor to the firm's top line, potentially creating some concentration risk. And lastly, the stock's recent rally has led to overvaluation concerns. With the P.E. ratio on a forward basing exceeding historical norms, this suggests limited room for further appreciation. Just to take a look in context, the forward P.E. around 30.4 
is about 700 basis points higher than its five-year average around 23.6. Now let's take a look at the technical picture for Alphabet. First off, its 12-month performance is up roughly 70%, significantly outperforming the broader communication services sector in major indices. The stock is trading comfortably above its 50 and 200-day moving average, signaling strong intermediate and long-term momentum. After setting a new 52-week high in late November, recent trading has shown a shallow pullback and consolidation, which is typical after an extended run, but leaves the stock technically extended in the near term. Now, using the MACD as momentum indicator on the daily chart, one can see it's below zero, confirming the stock is in a near-term consolidation pattern. Now, in summary, Alphabet remains a dominant global tech and AI platform. It controls a powerful suite of consumer properties such as Search, YouTube, Android, Maps, etc., and a rapidly growing enterprise franchise in Google Cloud and security, as well as those high optionality bets like Waymo and its healthcare division. Q3 2025 showed record results with revenue over $100 billion in EPS growth north of 30% year-over-year, driven by artificial intelligence across Search, Ads, and its cloud business. Most importantly, I think, is the Gemini 3 rollout and expanded AI infrastructure, which may continue to deepen Alphabet's AI and security moat and cloud workloads going forward. And lastly, Google remains a significant player for long-term AI exposure, which may benefit shareholders for years to come. All right, that's it for this week's edition of the Tech Corner. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Schwab Network. I'm George Tillis. We'll see you next week.